different, it's going to be a sit down video. So it's very different to what I normally do because usually I go away on holidays and vlog my holidays with my friends and my family. Um, but obviously I cannot do that because of the current situation due to coronavirus. Um, so obviously it's not a number one priority either, but I did have a few holidays planned in this time period, so I would have obviously vlogged them, but instead I thought I would sit down and show you some things and like what I like in my normal life. So today is going to be a shoe collection. I have always loved fashion and shoes and I have so many shoes, like too many, like no one needs this amount of shoes, like ever. But like I just have a lot, I always have collected them, I call it my collection, like it's quite it's my favourite thing. So and I think it's important to keep in mind that I have purchased pretty much all of these myself and like I'm in no way trying to bag. Like obviously I've got bought a couple of pairs for my birthday by my friends and family and like Christmas. But I also do work in a shoe shop. When you work in a shoe shop obviously you need to wear the brand and you need to wear things you sell. So you do have more trainers and shoes than most normal people. So just please keep that in mind that this is in no way me saying you need as many shoes because you don't. But yeah, um, also what I'll do is I'll put down in the description box a link to where you can buy any of these shoes. Um, if they're sold out I'll use like second hand of sites or places like Pocket where you can buy brand new sneakers and stuff. But they are a little bit more expensive than retail price. Um, but if I can't find and them online, I will put an alternative down there that's similar or slightly similar style. Um, also, I will put what size I bought because I'm a UK size 4 in pretty much all shoes. If I want up or down a size, I'll put that down in the description box so it gives you an idea for sizing yourself. Um, and then, if you make it to the end of the video, put down your favourite pair of shoes in the box below and I'll try and find you. But yeah. This is my first pair of Nike shoes and my first pair of Air Force Ones in this video. They were made of a flax material, sort of like a Timberland, and I think the gum sole looks really good, gives it that monotone effect. And this was actually my first ever pair of Air Force Ones. Another pair of Air Force Ones with a white and yellow colourway. I love the way they've got yellow on the sole as well as on the swish. I think that's a nice added detail, and they're such a soft leather, making these ones super, super duper comfy. This next pair is a pair of Air Force One Shadows. They have the double detailing all around the side on the swoosh and other parts on the shoe. I like to style these with two pairs of Nike socks to mirror that double detailing and the colours on these are just beautiful and go with everything in my wardrobe. And I would say they are slightly comfier than the normal Air Force Ones. I would highly recommend grabbing a pair. They do loads of colourways in these. This next pair was actually my second ever pair of Air Force Ones. I love the colour. I love yellow on my shoes. You'll see that as a running theme. And the gum sole again is lovely. And they don't actually show wear that much. I've worn these tons and you can't really tell, which I love about these shoes. This is just a white and red pair. They just have the red swoosh. And what's really nice about this is they don't actually have the metal detailing at the front where it says Nike. Usually it just has an embroidered swoosh. And I like at the back as well where it says Nike in like bold text. And that's really different. This next pair is a very basic pair for me. They're pretty much like the White Air Force, just a little bit different. I, the only reason I really bought these was because, I don't know if you can see at the front, they say swoosh and have the swoosh detailing embroidered on. I think that makes them really different and they're just a nice alternative to plain White Air Force. This is another pair of Air Force. They're lilac and white and I really like the colour on this. It's a bit of a paler lilac and I like how the inside of the Air Force is lilac, whereas normally it's white as it hides the dirt a bit better. I just really like the colour lilac on shoes as well and I think they're a really nice summer shoe. Another pair of pink suede ones with a gum sole. Again, love the gum sole on Air Force Ones. My friend actually sold these to me when she no longer wanted them. I'm so glad that I got bought them off her because I love them. This is a pair of white and blue Air Force. They're actually the same as the red and white ones, obviously just a different colour. So I actually wear them odd sometimes, so one white and blue and one white and red. But yeah, these are just a really nice staple Air Force again. Then we have a plain white pair of Air Force Ones. These are a staple in everyone's wardrobe, but I've actually painted on mine during quarantine. So on one, it has Winnie the Pooh and Friends, and on the other foot, it has Beauty and the Beast and all the characters from that movie. And I do really need to buy a new pair of white Air Force now, but I love the fact that I've customised these, and hopefully I can wear these um, in Disneyland when it reopens after um, coronavirus is over. So it'll be lovely. But yeah, I really recommend painting on your Air Force. It's really fun as well. It gave me lots to do, but I love these. 
painting on Air Force Ones gives you such creativity because there's so many different things you can do, so I would highly recommend. Next pair of Nikes is a pair of Nike Zooms in a grey with an off-white colour. They kind of look like the shoe's been put in black and white, and I think the silhouette of these trainers is really unique, and I don't own anything like them. And they're so comfy as well, like all Nike shoes are, but these are super comfy. Then we have a pair of 270s. These are in white colourway with orange and pink and a bit of midnight navy on them. They're really cool. I actually got these from Foot Locker for like £34 in the sale. They were such a bargain, and I love them. Then this next pair is a pair of Mayfly Wovens. These are quite an old pair. My friends hate these. They call them the woven basket trainers. But I think they're so cool. Like they're beige with a bit of pink going through them. And they're perfect for holidays. I wouldn't usually wear them as socks. But And then this pair is a pair of P6000s. They're kind of a similar silhouette to the previous pair. But they're a bit more structured and a bit more hard wearing. More of like a day to day shoe I find. But these are really nice alternative to white Air Force as well. And they're just super comfy and very lightweight. And this is a pair of 270 Reacts. The colourway on these is so cool. Like The colours are so bright. I love them. They're so comfortable. And they kind of look a bit more retro, I think. But yeah, these are really cool. Then I have a pair of M2 te M2K Technos in this off-white colour, which I find helps keep them really clean. But they are that sort of dad trainer sort of trend that was around in 2018. But they're really cool. And they're just a bit different. I'm getting a lot chunkier than my other shoes. Then we have one of my favourite pairs of Nikes. These are my Air Max 98s in the pastel colourway. These are so cool, so perfect for summer. And I just think all the colours match with so much in my wardrobe and they'll be so on trend at the moment. I love the 98 silhouette. I also have another pair. This is the leopard print pair with neon green. These are so cool as well. They're so different to my other pair of 98s, but I love them so much. And they, I just love the little bits of neon. They just go with so much. And I find the 98 silhouette a lot comfier than the 97 one. Though I love my 97s, which I have these ones in the silver bullets, I just find they're a lot narrower across the toes, which I find it is a little bit more uncomfortable, despite them having the same air bubbles. So... Then we have this pair, which is a pair of Nike Element Reacts, and they're so cool. The lilac and pink together are really nice. They're really nice for like running, but also you can style these up into like fashion shoe. But yeah, they're really comfortable as well. And they were junior, which is so good. So they were like forty nine pounds. A pair of Nike sliders. They're just in a grey, pink, and sort of cream colorway. I wouldn't usually wear them with socks, but I couldn't bother to take them off. I don't actually find Nike sliders that comfy, but I kept these ones anyway. Then we have these Rocher Runs, they're in a grey colourway, um, I've had these for years, I've just kind of kept them because they're really comfy for working out and stuff, so that's why I've kept these ones. I have these Nike Blazers in this mint green colourway, and I think these are so cool, and I've always kept them, and Blazers are actually coming back, like they're so popular now, so I can't wait to wear these after quarantine. I think they look so cool with different outfits, and again, it's on that pastel trend, I have a lot of pastel shoes. Then we're moving on to Adidas. These were my first pair of Continentals, just the classic white, they're just such a staple in anyone's wardrobe. I love the red and the sort of midnight navy on the sides, but I also have the pink pair, I think these were junior, they were so cheap, and this adds like a little bit of pink in your wardrobe, nice to spice up an outfit but I also have this pair which are lime green and these are so cool they add such a pop of colour to your outfit and I find the continental style very comfy then we have these adidas ones they're stan smiths they're in grey and rose gold i love rose gold which is why i got these i think i got these for christmas ages ago but i think they're really cool and really different to every other shoes i have then i have these nmds i keep these because they're really good for running and for the gym and stuff but do you remember when nmds were like the most popular shoe and they would sell out in like an hour in every single shop because that was a mad time but they are really nice they're pink and grey and a really nice and comfy shoe then we have these pair of Falcons. These are so cool. They're sort of like my Air Force of Adidas, if that makes sense. And I think the neon green on the sock makes them really unique, as well as the laces. The laces are so cool. And they just go with so much, with like flares, denim, skirts, anything. Then I have these Samba Roses. They're in a pink suede with a gum sole. These are really cool because they have a really chunky sole, but a really dainty up top. So it's kind of like a good contrast. And these, are, these aren't as comfy as other ones. I find them quite flat, but they're really pretty. So I've kept them. Then we have these pair of Adidas sliders. Adidas are actually do my favourite sliders. However, they are very expensive, but these are so comfy and I wear them loads. This is actually a pair of Yeezys in the colourway Sesame. My parents bought me these for Christmas and they are so comfy. If you can get your hands on a pair of 350s, like they are so unbelievably comfy. I need to wear them more, but I love the gum sole with the grey. They're just so easy to wear and I love them. But then I also was lucky enough to get my hands on the 700 Soul Yeezys. I actually got these from a raffle and I got to go collect them in Offspring and it was just a really nice experience all round. And me and my dad had a lovely day in London and I love these as well. They're a bit more chunky and they are a very different vibe to the 350s. 
we have this pair of like puma hearts with like the um what's it like ribbon laces and they're really cool i just have kept hold of them because they're really different and i don't have anything like them so i've just always kept hold of them then we have another pair of pumas and these are just the original puma suede in the gray these are so comfy and i've just again kept hold of them because they're just a bit different so then we have some Reeboks. These are in a really pale lilac with like an icy sole, which are really cool. And it's just the original Reebok style. Again, my friend sold me these and she didn't want them anymore. So that was really cool. And I don't own many Reeboks. So, and I have the same sort of style pair but in a khaki and I don't have many khaki pairs. So this is a really nice, I think this might actually be my only khaki trainers. I've got khaki heels, but I don't have any other khaki trainers. So, and then I also have a pair of slides that my friend actually gave to me when she no longer wanted them. And I love lilac, so it's a lovely colourway in these. And then we also have a pair of feelers. See, these get so much hate online, but I've kept these because of the colour. Like, the colour is so vibrant. It's such a nice yellow. And I just think they're so different. And I don't see many people with the yellow feelers. Moving on to Converse, these just plain black leather ones. They're just an easy black shoe to have in your wardrobe. Then I have some white and pink high tops. These are really different because, like, the logo's pink and i think high top converse are a little bit nicer and then we have high top black and white ones these are actually my friend Gemma's, but she lives in australia so i'm storing her shoes and she said i could wear some so i'm lucky that enough that i can wear these at the moment and i'm definitely gonna have to grab my own pair when she comes home and then i also have another pair of black all black converse these are just on the canvas though just an easy shoe again and then we have the low white ones. I think this was my third pair of Converse or like proper expensive shoes I ever bought. So these kind of are sentimental, but they are so worn out, but it makes them so comfy because they're so broken into my feet. And then we also have another low pair. This is in a grey and rose gold. They're suede. And as you've already seen in this video, I love rose gold. So I had to get these. And I think these were on sale. And then I have my favourite pair, which are so cool. They're called the Runstar Hikes, and they're in this pink and red colourway. The back with the pink and red is just what makes them so cool. And they're so comfy because where they're platform, they just give you so much more comfort because sometimes converts can be quite flat. And they're just so cool. And they have the pink eyelets around the top as well, which I really like. Then moving on to vans, I have these pink checkerboard vans. I love the checkerboard on the sole as well, and I'm such a fan of slipping vans. And these are just a bit different, and I hadn't seen many pink checkerboard vans before in this sort of pale pink. But yeah, so that's the first pair of slipping vans. And then I have this pair, which is navy and polka dot. They're again a bit different. I don't really see many polka dots on things. It's usually checkerboard on vans, but these are just really different. And again, I think these are one of my first pair of shoes I actually ever bought myself. Then I have these grey pair, which are so dirty now, but this was the first pair I ever bought at my job, and I think, I don't know, I just keep holding them because of that. I'm such a hoarder, I know. And then I have this baby blue checkerboard pair, and I love, as I said, I love slip-on vans, so these were just a must-have, and I wear these a lot when I'm driving, this pair, I don't know why, I find them extra comfy. Then I have this pair, which my parents actually customised me for my 18th birthday, you can do it on the van's website, and they're pale pink at the front, and have lilac checkerboard on the side, and pale pink at the back, and these are just so special, because obviously they're mine, and no one else has them, and they actually get sent in this little duffel bag that says, custom made for you at the top. And then I just have a pair of all black authentics. Again, I just in case you would wear them on a night out or anything, they don't get too dirty, which is nice. And then I have the original checkerboard in the black white. And these are so ruined. I need a new pair. I actually wore these out and spilt vodka slash puppy on one of them. And it stained it red and I scrubbed it and part of the black ink came out. So it's now faded. And then we have a pair of skate highs. Again, my friend who lives in Australia actually is letting me wear these whilst I'm storing her shoes. And again, I'm going to have to buy them because I wear them a lot. So thank you, Jem. <laughs> and then um, I have the original old schools low. And they're just a staple. Everyone needs old schools in their wardrobe. They go with everything. I do find I wear them more in summer, though, than winter. Then I just have this pair of, I think they're from Next, they're a pair of sort of fake converse, but the colour's really cool, and I've just always kept hold of them because they're actually really comfy on the insides as well. And yeah, they weren't that expensive, I don't think. Pair of flats, they're from Office, they're called Destiny, they're just like a black, really soft leather actually with a gold bar at the front. They're really super comfortable, and just a nice, easy one. I don't have many loafers in my collection. So. Second pair is a pair of patent loafers, they aren't as comfortable just because the painted material obviously is a little bit more stiff, but the bow's really cute, and they're really nice in a grey, but I definitely need to fake tan to wear these, otherwise they blend in with my skin tone. <laughs> this next pair is a really cool, bright pair of like sort of teal loafers. I just kept these because I don't really own anything in this colour, and they're just a bit more unique, and I feel like they could be worn with certain outfits. Then in the flats category I've just popped these toms in here, they're just a navy blue lace and they're just really good for summer so I've just kept these ones in my wardrobe. 
This is my first pair of boots. They're a pair of Timberlands in a grey with a rose gold detailing. They're super comfy because they're the slimmer line ones, which means they're a little bit more lightweight, making them not as heavy on your feet, which is really good. These ones are a pair of Nelly Timberlands. They're in a khaki colour and they're really nice. They do cut a little bit lower on the ankle, which is a bit nicer for summer, but they're just not as comfy, I find, where they're a bit heavier. Then I have these office own boots. I think they're called Alphabet. They now do these in leather as well as suede, but personally I prefer suede. They are quite heavy though, like they're quite hard to walk in I find, but the contrast stitching is really nice and they have a zip on the inside which makes them really easy to put on. Then I have these sort of heel chunky Chelsea boots that are good for nights out because they're quite comfy. I feel like every girl owns a pair of these in some sort of style, but again these are from office. And then we have another pair of office boots. I can't remember the name of these, but the stunning and buckle detail is really nice. And they're quite slim, but the leather on these is so soft. Like, that's what makes these so comfy. And again, the zip on the inside is really nice for easy putting them on. Again, with these, they have a zip on the inside. These have a stunning detail around the front and the buckle. And these are called alpaca. The leather on these is soft, but not as soft as the previous pair. But the sole on these ones are a bit more sturdy, I find changing up from black boots we have this pink velvet pair with a little heel and they've got gold um zip on the back these i've just kept because they're just different don't have anything like them so and then we have my white dms these are like so good like i love them they're so cool they make an outfit so different and i think white dms are so underrated and i love them so much got these for my 19th birthday then we have my black leather ones. These are the soft leather, so the Virginia leather. And honestly, if you're getting black DMs, get the soft leather. They're so much comfier. And these are just a staple. Everyone needs these in their life. You can wear them all year round. They're amazing. And then we have a pair of Chelsea boots, just classic ones. These are called Jamie from Office again. A lot of my boots are from Office because I work there. So, And these are super comfy and the sole is so soft. We have this pair of Office sandals. It was a collaboration with Office and Gamio. They do it most years. And it's a really nice rose gold. And they're so comfy on the bottom because they've got the espadrille sole. So. And then we have another pair of Office sandals. These are called Stingray. They're in white and black. They're sort of a bit like the DM sandals, but a little bit less chunky, which I prefer personally. And these are so comfy. Then we have some heels. These are actually from Primark. These are just black ones. Um, I don't really like the ankle strap on these, so I only tend to wear them with trousers. I feel like they cut the leg at a weird place, but apart from that, they're really nice. Then we have these heels from New Look. I don't know why, because like the heel just isn't that stable, even though they're not that high, but they are a really nice colour, which is why I've kept them. A pair of stilettos, which is this black pair with a fluffy front. I like this because they actually hide your toes because I don't really like my feet. I don't think anyone does, but I especially don't. And they're actually not that hard to walk in, but I don't own that many stilettos. And then we have this pair of sock boots, again from Primark. And these are so comfy and they're so nice and they don't look like they're from Primark at all. And I wear these tons. And I also have them in the khaki colour, which is here. And again, they're just so easy and they hold your foot really nicely where they're the sort of material. We have this pair of stilettos which are impossible to walk in because they're wrap around, they don't hold your feet at all, they slide forward but they're so cute and they're suede and they're so soft so they are really nice. And then we have this pair of like platforms that everyone owns but these are so comfy and so nice if you want to wear heels but you don't want to be uncomfortable because you can dance in them like the whole evening which is nice and they're good for holidays. Then we have this yellow pair, I love yellow shoes and these are so cool and they're wrap around but they actually hold your foot a bit more and they're sort of like this block stiletto heel which makes them a little bit comfier because I can not walk in normal stilettos but yeah and then we have this on another bright pair which is orange wedges and these are so cool i can imagine these on holiday i haven't worn these yet but i can imagine these with like a colorful or plain outfit and they look so cool then these next pair is my staple holiday shoes they're not that high they're just nice for the evening if you're like walking into town and that but you still want a hill but yeah and these are good for nights out as well so they're really nice and they're from office then this next pair is from Ego. These is, I haven't worn them. They're so high and where they're wrapped around, they're really hard to walk in because like, your feet just kind of come out of them a bit. But they're really cool and they have the PVC at the front. And then a similar design. We have these red ones from Office, but they're block heel. These are quite heavy because the block is quite chunky, but I love them. And the really thin strap at the top is really nice. It elongates your legs a lot. And then this next pair is a sparkly pair. They're called Nina. They're from Office as well. And they're so comfy. And Nina's like, heels were so popular and they should bring them back because they were so good. And then we have my all-time favourite heels. These are called Harris from Office. I love the strap detail. They've got a small platform at the front. They're so, so, so comfy. And literally every, pretty much all the girls at work used to have these in both colours. I wish I got the rose gold now, but yep. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy looking at all my shoes because I love watching these little collections on YouTube and that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.